I'm not going to touch my hair literally ever again for years and years and years. I lied. Because then I saw Emma Chamberlain's hair, and that shit is so cool. And also, I'm not supposed to leave the house. That's not an excuse. And there's so many other things I can do. But I'm going to do this. Idiot. I'm putting my hair bleaching sweater on so that it doesn't get bleach on my bleached tie-dye shirt. Maybe I have a problem. Yeah, that doesn't help. Whatever. I don't know. It's a bleached tie-dye shirt anyway. So if you haven't seen Emmett Chamberlain's new hair, it looks like this. And it's fucking sick. Is this only going to look good on her? And it's going to look shitty on me? Yes. Is it going to make my fucked up hair even more fucked up? Even if it goes perfectly? Yes. So it's not an ombre effect. It's really a section. The underneath section is blonde and the top layer is dark. It's cool, uh, but you have to have a certain length. But if it's short like here, it will not be that nice as the long version. So it has to be long to do it like that. So it's a section that you have to take and underneath you have to bleach it and then on top it's dark. So it's, it's a technique that we have used in the 90s. Uh, but it was not until the ears, it was only the back. So every 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, some color technique or some cutting technique is coming back. So this is the same thing. We have seen it before. I'm scared. This is where I tried to bleach my hair the other time and it didn't fall out. Is that a good sign? I should look at a picture of hers. Where's my phone? Okay, sorry. See, like, I don't know what hers is anyway. I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Like, a whole chunk on the side. On both sides. On the... On both sides. Fuck, this is hard. So just like that. It's too high, too high. Does this help you? <laughs> Does this help you if you're trying to do it? Do. Um, I think that's okay. Now we're just gonna see if that kind of looks the same. The fact that this is in a bag is so odd to me. I'm always afraid of it like splashing in my eye. Here we go. Always watch your eyes. Be careful with your eyes. Just normal coloring goes into your eyes. It's hurting and you have to wash it out very quickly. But if bleach go into your eye, it will be a horror. It's really hurting and you have to rinse it off right away. But please be careful. Please be careful with your eyes uh, because the ammonia that's inside, it's really, really uh, a damaging product. It's the most damaging product in our profession. Don't go it into your eye. You can have permanent damage on your eye. What kind of paper is that? I may have made a mistake. <laughs> okay, so that was like the worst idea. Oh my ever. god! It's, it burnt off a hell of hair. And now it's just red and dry. And it's almost like... That's what bleach does. Stupid idiot. Now, that's not what bleach does. First of all, I don't know if it was, if it was colored in dark before. I believe so, because she says she has done a lot of things with her hair. So, if you are natural dark or colored in dark, it's different. Natural dark colors melt more easily than synthetic pigments. Natural pigments, it's melting down to orange, orange yellow, yellow, uh, light yellow, and then white. For the darker ones, it's really difficult to melt these pigments. And some pigments of box dyeing, it's melting not at all. So if you have a box dye and you want to bleach your hair, it's really, really, really difficult. So you have more likely the red, orange uh, color than on natural hair. But it's fried and the one side is shorter than the other one. So it's already breaking off. I said in the beginning, you have to have a long hair 
uh, and the sides are really short so I don't think the end result will be as good as the the one that you want so let's see okay so I obviously didn't expect it to lift all the way I expected to have to bleach it again because it is orange my hair was black slash brown slash whatever color it wanted to be that day I did expect to have to bleach it again like I already just said but I did not expect it to be as fried as it is which I actually should have because I am stupid and hello like I just got back from bleaching my hair time after time after time it just doesn't look good dude it doesn't look good in the camera it doesn't look good in the mirror you're not that handsome. Wow, fat. This side is like okay, weirdly, but like this side is like not doing good at all. Like half of it has already been <laughs> scorched off the bottom and it's just not doing okay. Okay, a mistake that is common made is uh, if you bleached your hair many times and it's really, really dry, you stop bleaching and you color it in a dark color it's not because you don't see the blonde anymore that it's over the damaging that you have done in the past months it's still there underneath that dark it's not because you colored it once or twice in a dark color the problem is solved you can do it all again no the damage is done so it takes a lot of time to restore your hair so it's not because you don't see the damaged part or the blood parts anymore. That's it's it's over. It's healed magically. I can bleach a bigger section, um, and then have like more to deal with for my disease brain. That's what it's telling me to do. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hold on. God, this is such a bad idea. But also, like, it's a fine idea. Because I'm not supposed to leave the house. And I want to leave the house really bad. Because quarantine, because all that. I don't know. I stay inside my whole day. And now that I'm told not to go outside, I just want to be a world traveler. Not really. I just kind of want to go to Walmart and walk around and stuff. But with coronavirus, I can't do that. But if my hair looks like complete, utter dog shit, I would definitely stay inside. I got bleach on my lip. I got bleach on my lip. I got bleach on my lip. But why she's coloring now the dark sections? She's taking the sections bigger? So the end result will be the sections that she already bleached will be fried more and even shorter because it's breaking off. And the dark sections will now be the red orange that she has before. Now wait. Okay, this idea is not aging well. I've burned off a lot of hair here. <gasps> I would show it to you in a clump, but it's all down the drain now. And it's very short. And <laughs> fuck. I don't know how this is so like it, this side. This side. They're the same hair. What we want? I have significantly less hair on this side of my head than I do this side of my head. I'm gonna dye them a cocktail of blue and purple to try and cancel out some of the orange. Don't bleach it again. It's broken. It's gonna do something. Yeah, it will be gone. Last twenty minutes. But I mean, sorry, I've been zoning out thinking about glee. Look how short this side is. And I'm also kind of stressed because my hair is falling out, but that is my fault, so. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> this was the worst idea. This was a horrible idea. You know what? Here. This is why. Because, um, I, this side, what the fuck happened? Break off! Given I didn't have hair from like here to here anyway, but then I like burned it off farther back. And I really have no self-control, is what I've learned from this video. And this side, like, fine. It's, like, okay. It's, like, as good as it's gonna get, obviously. Maybe I'll dye it pink, see what happens. But it's odd. <laughs> it's not, it does not, it does not look like hers. I don't know what she did. <laughs> I should have done. I should have done a speck of research to what she did. Instead of looking at one Instagram picture, um, yeah, I don't know. It looks decent up in a ponytail, other than the fact that this doesn't go into a ponytail anymore. 
that I was reacting to was a crazy person but she is also very much a crazy person did you see the big pieces on the side that was just burned off first of all she didn't have the length like the, the example that she has you have to have a nice length to have this kind of result second of all she didn't know what she did wrong well let's say she didn't know what she was doing so I'm sure the example that she had was done by a professional. I'm pretty sure about that. That's the first mistake that, she, that you made. And second of all, she said that she bleached it before and then colored it again. She will do it in different colors again, like in black or in pink. Uh, she will do it in other colors. So it will still be damaged. And if she's not going to be careful in the next few months, she will end up like me with no hair that's serious let's say it's an example for all of you if you bleached it too much and you colored it dark it doesn't mean that it's over it's restored so the damage is underneath it will burn off some point for one person it will be burning off in two bleaches for other ones it will take a lot of bleaches to burn off but if you still mess up with your hair and not be careful on one point it will break off some hair is thick and it can take a lot of bleaches some hair is really thin and it will break off into bleaches but it's not would it break off no it will break off the only question is when Will it break off so if you like this video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel press that notification bell go to her channel and also subscribe to her channel support this creator and all i'm going to say is stay safe stay home and chokers